mutual respect so that our most distant friends will know how to live with us. The world is witnessing uh, the uh, alarming uh, problem of digital divide and the problems of uh, the, especially looking into the problems of uh, developing countries. The reality in developing and developed countries is completely different. My name is Anita. We were five born by my father in teen houses, actually. In a nation soon to be Namibia, a nation she helped create. They were calling us, young people from Namibia, come, let's join the revolution struggle. So we marched. She marched and she helped win liberation. But soon, another battle would begin. So when Namibia became independent, HIV was already here. We were afraid we didn't know about the disease, and people started ignoring it. But she couldn't ignore it for long. So when I went to the doctor, he told me straight forward, you are HIV positive. I was just waiting for death to come. I drew the line and said, no, let it stop there. I'm here today and I'm here to tell you publicly that I'm HIV positive. For standing up, I saved a lot of lives. Her name is Anita. Her face brings hope to an infected nation. I'm going to die of old age, but not of HIV and AIDS. Got a lot of work to do. Every time I sleep, I have to pray to God and say, God, not now. These are the days that bring you meaning. I feel the stillness of the sun, and I feel fine. Things got heated at the Democratic debates in Myrtle Beach. Accusations of negative campaigning, hogging debate time, and even slumlording were thrown around. But outside the theater, activists rallied together to fight for a cause they think needs a little debate. The fight against HIV AIDS in America. We know how to end AIDS. All we have to do is get the politicians to enact the policies to make it happen. 